Good morning, everyone. Oh, my top is. Uh, I need new top. Jesus She's newly washed as well. Just uh, first job today. Uh, front and rear pads for this World Titan Golf. It's actually a mate of mine. Oh, that lipping is quite bad. Alex, if you're watching this, mate, check your lipping. I will check if that's still within tolerance. Front and rear pads on this. This one is half worn. You can just about see it there. So we will be changing it. John's going to be working in the back. I'll be working the one at the front. So we'll see you in a minute. If you want to watch a tutorial for this, you can watch it here. It was a Saya IB for FR, but it's the same braking system that they use. It's just instead of the H7, you have to replace this uh, using a 13 mil spanner. So I'll catch you guys in a minute. I'll just video how I'm doing it. You guys might be wondering why I've removed the whole brake caliper. Well, I'll tell you something, okay? Because with this, you want to be cleaning the runners right here and right here. By literally flipping the caliper up, you're not going to be doing your job properly, are you? So remove the whole thing and just clean up the whole thing. All right? Right, so we got lucky on this one because, as you know, our van broke down, so we're using that at the moment as the workhorse, whilst waiting for our van to arrive, the new one. Anyway, with this one, it's got electronic parking brake, and John mentioned this to me, that it's the screw-type caliper, and uh, I was like, oh no, but I just remembered it's electronic parking brake, so all we had to do is to basically compress it. Yeah, got lucky with that one, got away with it. We didn't really, shall we say, we forgot to bring that, um, the equipment that we have, because like what I said, everything's in the van and that is the workhorse at the moment for a few days. So yeah, got lucky with that. I'm done at the front now, front near side that is. I'm gonna put everything back together, the wheels and stuff like that. As you saw on that time-lapse, I've talked it up and that's all that's left. I am gonna be testing out if there is going to be a difference between with pace and no paste because obviously like what the guy mentioned in the comment people do use it some people don't so i'm going to be testing it out myself to see if there's going to be a massive difference obviously with this one i'm just going to be putting no grease at the front a lot of manufacturers says don't put any grease in it some manufacturer says put grease in it so who knows which one do we follow do you know what i mean so yeah catch you guys in a minute let me just put this back And here we are guys on the second job of the day. This is a front exhaust. This is actually the same owner as the uh, right here. Is this going to be the one or this one? I'm not sure. But anyway, I'll flash it here. It's the Honda Civic where we almost died doing the top mount. So now we are doing there's a Fira. And as you can see here, she had like a severe exhaust blow because that has ripped. So now we're going to put a new one in, which is actually in the back of service vehicle that we've got at the moment there we go brand spanking you anyway let's put this on shall we stop it let's put the sensor in there nice and greased just to make sure that it doesn't seize in place isn't it john yeah nice yeah. and greased there you can apply copper grease on that or silver grease whatever grease you prefer there we go Nice. Nice one, mate. That's installer. Why? Oh. Ew. Did you put grease in this already, yeah? In here? Yeah. This part? Yeah? Yeah. Oh my. What? That's nice. <laughs> Give it yeah. a minute. Earlier, when it on the way out, was difficult, in it? On the way out, was difficult. <sighs> difficult clutch? Difficult clutch. Is it going to be in the way? Can you fit it in already or not really? No. Far from it. Need, it needs to go in. All the way in. Twist, twist and push? Nothing? No more push. Oh man, not this again. 
No, Does it not fit yet? No, not from. See? Yeah, far. Don't force it. Alright, okay. Keep brush it, you brush it. Make sure to put some grease in it. Oh, grease on the, on the inside? On the underbox. Is that enough grease? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, enough grease, yeah. Give me the hammer there, by your foot. Hey. Oh, no, it's too. I should have raised that a little bit more, really. So is this again? Go back here. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit, you did. Should have moved this out a little bit, right? Come on, come closer. Come closer. Glad. So, Where's the bolt for this now? Over here. The big one? Oh. oh man. Should have raised it a little bit more. What a stupid. What a stupid. Come on. Give me give me a thread. Is that no. Alright, so that is the new barn exhaust done. I need to replace the uh, good old centre as well as just the front that was leaking. Put that there, as you can see. Let it run. Alright, turn it back on, John. That's what I would say. Oh, let's bring it down first. Alright, let's listen up for the exhaust blow. John! What? Oh my lord, even the key? Well, let's listen out, see if there's any exhaust blow. Let's put this on. Neutral. Turn it on. There you go, much better. Much, much. Shut up, mate. Much better. Alright, cool, so that's job done. On to the next. What are we doing next? Oh, Vauxhall Corsa diagnostic, isn't it? Right, let's go. All uh, right, guys. So we are on this next job, which is a Vauxhall Corsa. Uh, we came here for a diagnosis because he was having a multiple cylinder misfire. But we thought that was it. But it's it's really not. It's worse than that. Anyway, he yeah, he was having multiple cylinder misfires. You know, the coil pack on this is very common to fail. So we're going to be replacing that OEM as well, which is Delphi. Upon inspection, if you have a look at this, look at that for oil. That is what seven years of no servicing looks like. Here, you can see right there, that oil is very thick. And the worst part about it is, look at that. Would you say that's normal? I would say so. We gotta run an engine flush on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to be draining the old oil that's already in there because we don't want that to be circulating around. Put a crappy oil to begin with, and then we're gonna put a new oil filter in there as well. We're talking about triple QX oil and also Bosch oil filter. They didn't really have Crossland, which you know Crossland is like the Shit. yeah. Yeah, he said it. So yeah, we're gonna put in that in, put the flush in and then leave it running for about 15, 20 minutes and then we're gonna drain it again and then put good stuff in it, man filter and castor oil. Yeah, we'll go from there. So yeah, we'll get started. We're gonna be changing the oil filter and also the cabin filter and the spark plugs and all of that. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Before we start actually, let me tell you a background story about this. This vehicle they had since 2000, 2015 or 16 or something like that. They've not had it serviced since then so i wonder what that oil looks like so that's about seven eight years we'll go and have a look we'll show you what it looks like and how it drops hopefully it's not as bad as we think but i have a feeling that's going to be a good one let's have a look <clears throat> oh my days i thought it was franklin <laughs> this is the right size <laughs> three two 
Moin. Allein. Is it working or is it smooth? Okay. Let's go to the Black as hell. Black as hell. Yeah, petrol should be brown. This black. is pitch Only black. Only when you see black from these are empty. It's black. Yeah, it's not clumpy, but once it sits in, you'll see it. You can see this. Oh, look, GM. What's that? Was there any dates? That's going in the bin. As you can see here, we only use good stuff. Look at that. Next will be the cabin filter. All right. This is one of them cabin filter that is actually like quite annoying to remove. So we'll see if it's actually been replaced or not. I take that back. I don't need to remove this. Let's have a look at this. Oh, it's actually, oh, I'll take it back. Be like, yeah, it's not that bad. Boom. See that? Again, Denzo, Denzo man. There's no date on it, but yeah. Hey. There you go. Cabin filter just lives here. So I just literally unclip it and you'll see the cabin filter there that's it not hard is it i know a lot of mechanics tend to skip this right what's happened john came out without the filter <laughs> so it's the same situation as the insignia that we did with the turbo fault as you can see there that stayed in we really do anything about it except for grabbing a 21 mil to remove it from the actual filter housing it's that needs to be removed wow look at the state of that oh lord oh my days that is gummy as anything please come out as a whole yes yes that's a good feeling oh grim look at that yeah goodness me go on mate Put that new filter in, come on. Put the new o ring in. We didn't really need to replace that just yet because we're going to remove it again anyway. You know what I mean? Go on. Plug it in there. Let's go out from this way. I told you to take the Iku out. Nice. Nice. Now tighten it a little bit. Not too much, and then we'll torque it once we're done. Yeah, we have to put new engine oil in it now. But let me change the spark plug and all that first. Push it out first. Huh? Push it out first. Yeah. Need to put the new engine oil. And then we put the flush in there. That's it. Nice. Alright, let's change this. Oh, yeah. Oh, mate. Come <laughs> on. Mate. What is that, man? Oh wow. Yeah, you will definitely get misfires from that. Look at that. Look at all that. Yeah, that's not a happy car, is it? Oh. oh at least that came out. I'm hoping that the spot plugs are not seated in place. Oh no. Oh no, man. Smooth. Smooth. I'm being quiet, bro. Cars don't like hearing those words, bro. Nah, he's lying. <laughs> Go on. Bro. <laughs> Psych. And yes, I can't be asked, so I'm gonna use my own time. Yeah? Original spot plugs. As you can see, it, original. Says, it just says GM on it. It still says 1931. <laughs> oh, this one's been replaced. Look at this. Only so this one. one's been replaced. 
have a look at this one. That sounds all... Yep, oh. still original. Odds on this one's replaced. GM, still the same. Well, I always make sure before installing the new plugs that you clean the seats. And also, compare, it's the same. Lengthwise and all of that. Girthwise. Look at that. Look at the gap on that, mate. Jesus. And yes, I am using NGK Iridium. All right. Yes, I know it's a voxel Corsa, but still. There you go, so as you can see, Delphi for Delphi. That's how it should be, OEM for OEM stuff. So, can I install that now? Ah, that's good contact. Back in there, yep. New plugs, new coils, lovely. Right, so we've just done the oil. Um, we've just put the triple QX in there for the time being. New oil filter in there as well. After that, we're just gonna wait a few minutes and then we're gonna put an engine flush in it. Drain it out and then we're gonna put good oil in it, which is sitting right there. And then the oil filter, which is right over there. As you can see, we just gotta wait for that. Should be golden after that. Is that water? It's, it's, it's water. Water? Is it water? No, it's water. Not water. Guys, put water oh. in your engine. It helps. No, we. Just go. Oh, dude, there was no point of you replacing that first one anyway. You well, lad. That's just you, my friend. Man. My poor man. Cut it, cut that bit. What are you scared for? Huh? <laughs> are you scared? Oh, cancel me. I'm good. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Three points. Three pointer. Two cool, man. And that is us done with this voxel courser here. Nicely, he's very quiet now. So, only thing is, I believe that his PTV is possibly blocked. Listen to this. So, that needs further diagnostics, but yeah, we'll have a look. We'll see what the issue is. So, this is where it ends anyway. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down what you think of today's jobs and stuff like that because this is going to be a vlog type video. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.